Hello everybody, uh, this is Kiyokin Interactive. Today with you, uh, I am Lena, Kiyokin Social Media Manager. Uh, together with me, there is Anna Lubers, uh, Kiyokin 2D artist, and yes. Marlon Woodstra, uh, Kiyokin Game Designer. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> it's okay, it's going to be fun. Malay, what about you? You were a chimp on my last name. <laughs> really? <laughs> not, not on mine. <laughs> oh, how do I pronounce yours? You can correct me. Uh, Lubers. Lubers? Yes. I did it better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, we are here today to watch uh, a Deliver Us the Moon speed run, uh, which is uh, the fastest one that uh, exists uh, to this day, and it takes one hour and 19 minutes. While we're watching uh, the speed run, we're also going to have some conversations. Friends and family. Yeah, this is something I've always wanted to do. Uh, Melin, you worked yeah. on Deliver Us the Moon, right? I did, yes. Right, and Anna, you joined us after yes right but it's amazing I brought the two of you here because I'm quite curious of how you're going to perceive the entire thing from the point of view of someone who worked on the game and from the point of view of someone who's working on the sequel uh, deliver us yeah. Mars <laughs> yes yeah and how does it feel knowing that you're working on an amazing game that delivers Mars is oh that's so amazing I just can't believe I'm actually working on it I'm very lucky that I got to work here because it was kind of last minute internship, but I'm really grateful that Herben uh, actually we had Herben, out. We actually had Herben on one of the streams. I think the audience are quite familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, between the three of us and everybody who's watching, what does it feel like working with Herben? What does it feel like yes. working with Herben? We're not gonna tell him. We're not gonna tell him. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, this will never get back to him at all, ever. Uh, 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 I'm thinking about a funny <laughs> remark, but I can't <laughs> come up with any. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is what it feels like working with Urban, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, anyway, we are already on the speed run. I am quite not used to seeing that because I'm used to people exploring everything, kind of like oh going yeah. through. And yeah. uh, they are just like running ahead, not scared. Gotta go fast. <laughs> I'm so used to people kind of taking their time, like get around the world and look at a few stuff, and it's like, right off the bat, let's go. Um, uh, Melin, you as a game designer, do you feel, um, uh, does, does it make you feel bad that people are not scanning it? Do you have a feeling like, but no, 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 you're supposed to go back and like scan it? Do you feel this way or? Well, I always feel a bit sad if people miss content because uh, you as a designer, it's like, but it was right there. How did you not see it? It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it's optional. So if you don't want to do it, then you just don't do it. And, um, well, I think a speedrunner will not do it, <laughs> obviously, mm. but I think plenty of people did um, read it and enjoy it. So. I think with one <laughs> of the I think with one of the things about this uh, video, because there is a speedrun website uh, th where I found it from, uh, the person says, I could have been even faster, but I made a couple of mistakes here and there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, I think I uh, remember doing one of those. Oh, it was so fast. <laughs> Nasta up and also really Memorize that code. Oh, that actually is so true. Look at that, just blasted through this. Because Holy <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We don't have that many codes in the game, so I think it's, it's doable to memorize them. We certainly did. <laughs> yeah. L wow. Also, okay. that one little, st that, that stare that you just get out of it, just enough to go through. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Just Okay. Oh, he's not listening to. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I feel amazing because I have. Di I feel like I'm like if I'm looking at the screen, I almost feel dizzy from like how fast <laughs> they're going. From the beginning of the game to the rocket in 3:31 minutes. Oh god, yeah, that's so right. fast. <laughs> but so far, it's just the route you're supposed to take. Yeah. So I'm really curious yeah. if you found any or she is the or she. Uh, let's say they, because I'm not they, sure. Yeah, that's, they, uh, that's yeah. the best option. So right. I'm, I'm not sure if they also find uh, found uh, ways to completely skip parts of levels or something. I'm really curious to see that. Same. We will see. Um, 
Milin, I know that you and Anna Udeng, the, the 3D artist, we have mm. a, a little thing about Kyokin you everybody should know. We have uh, a 3D Anna and a 2D Anna. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you've seen quite um, a lot of 3D Anna, but I'm so happy that we have 2D Anna now. I'm 2D guys. Anna. So Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but like um, Anna and Milin, they said that they had to test the games pretty much themselves, right? Because the team was um, way smaller back in the day. Uh, that they almost knew how to get everything done and they almost like had uh, speed runs. Melin, what was mm. the fastest someone on the team uh, have completed Deliverous the Moon? Oh, not Deliverous the Moon in entirely, I think, because well, we did, uh, of course, we were a small team, so we had to test Look what everything. Oh my ourselves. god, did you see? I'm sorry for interrupting you, but like, didn't even like move it all the way there, but like jump from it? Yeah. What? Saved a couple of seconds there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry for interrupting you. Yeah, yeah. So you tested like certain levels, you say? No, we tested everything because we're small we were a small team, so um, you know, you have to test everything yourself. So and then we did a lot of testing, but also other members of the team also tested a lot um, and fixed a lot. Uh, but um and I mean uh, at the end of the day at a convention uh, when there weren't a lot of people around anymore we were still at an hour left or something so for fun we did a speed run of launch sites who would finish first basically okay uh, who, won? <laughs> who won yeah uh, i won uh -huh. because yeah, let's go <laughs> and <laughs> <Sorry> <laughs> And I forgot to press the button here on the elevator, so she had to wait for the elevator to get up. Wha yeah. uh, well, and I could just go after turning the valve, so that's what won me the, ah, <laughs> the competition. That's what won you did, you, did you do this six minutes though? Um, I think I was about the same thing, but he was definitely faster with the mm -hmm. moving of the stairs. Oh yeah. This Day. is my favorite Sorry. sequence with the soundtrack and everything, how it like gets to be so tense and then there is a timer. <laughs> like not waiting but for But the anything. timer is really generous actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Yeah, but you made it sure, right? So that's like pressing, but it's also yeah. I am quite curious at how the launch sequence is gonna get handled because I've recently mm. watched someone play Deliver as the Moon on Stadia. It's now on Stadia everybody. And I watched uh, the person really struggle with the launch sequence and die a couple of times there. Oh but if you know how well, it goes, you then it should it be okay, right? Okay. I mean, so far he really plays like a dev. <laughs> 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 How many playthroughs, I wonder, like it took them like to master Oof. everything. Oof. Oh, this oh, one mistake. Oh, yes, this, okay, that yeah. was the mistake. <laughs> A4 instead of A3. <laughs> Honestly, I, I sometimes miss that second lever. <laughs> I love how like we're also like cheering in a way, right? For the person <laughs> playing. <laughs> yeah. Play there. We're kind of like going, hey, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. He must have been spamming F for <laughs> it to Is this come how you do it? interactive. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing to also watch it with all of the like uh, keys input? You know how you can program it so you can see it on screen oh which yeah, keys yeah. on the keyboard oh have been yes. Yeah, I think it would be great to see like when it's like space is spammed or spamming the F key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Anna, while we were watching this beautiful launch sequence, have you played Deliver Us the Moon? Uh, yes, I did. Did you play it after you started working with Kyokin or beforehand? Uh, after. After. Yeah. But did you know, were you familiar of like the game and what like the company did? It kind of happened after because like I said, my internship, I was searching for an internship and I was a bit late and I already gave up hope and then Gerben put an announcement in a Discord group and I was like, I, s I need an internship, please. And I got to talk with him and he was really enthusiastic and he was like, yeah, you can work here. And then. I d at that moment, I was just, you know, searching up the company and like, okay, what is the company about? What are they doing? What will I do? And then I saw Deliverers the Moon and I was like, it's probably good if I play the game to know what it, everything is about. <laughs> right. So it kind of happened after. So it kind of happened after. So yeah. you already like knew that you'll be working on a uh, sequel, right? But yes. uh, you also like had to like get yourself familiar. How did it feel? Was, what was your first impression? of the game when you first played it. Of the Livers Yeah. Mm. 
very relatable in a way because it is it tackle it, it tackles this the climate change of like oh is this where we are heading and it's kind of scary right yes <laughs> Yeah. I sure hope not, but um, you sure hope that's not where we're heading. Yeah, but uh, it makes you think. <laughs> right. My favorite question that I have to ask you: Did it make you cry? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't remember. Mm, I think I got emotional, but I don't know if it actually made me cry. <laughs> because did you play all the way to the end? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Finish okay. again. Yeah. Finish nice. again. <laughs> Because I think with every and maybe yeah, I think I actually already knew he would, you know, kind of perish. Right. <laughs> 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 you were very careful with just the word. <laughs> yeah, also, this is something we, we should say, which is a little late for this point. But this uh, video spoilers. contains spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> we obviously watching the entire This needs to be in the description now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I mean, it obviously contains spoilers. Uh, but yeah, so he. You, you knew because you worked, or you knew because like you I had this feeling. I think I uh, before I before I played the game, I already well was having my internship here, and I was just searching. Okay, what is the story about? And I think I then read in script or I don't know somewhere that he was actually perished dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, that's <laughs> kind of a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I, th yeah. I spoiled my myself. That kind of I think. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is a still <laughs> emotional. Yeah, but I knew it was coming. Uh, it's ca I had the same thing happen to me uh, when because uh, I also stream on Twitch. It's like my own kind of thing, and I started playing Red Dead Redemption Two. And on my very oh. first stream of the game, uh, somebody came over and threw a massive spoiler at how the game ends no. at me, uh. like the very first hour of me playing it. So I had to play the entirety of like eighty hours I put into the game, knowing <laughs> how it ends, Damn. which was still very good, oh. right? Oh, this was amazing. Melin, um, the dog sequence, uh, were you designing it? Uh, yeah, it, I did some work on this. You did some work on this. Uh, yeah. Did you have to do like a lot of research, watch a lot of like maybe NASA footage to make it feel as real as possible? Um, no, th actually, probably someone watched it. <laughs> but um, this was already basically here. Uh, I just um, did some improvements for the gameplay, I think. Right. I'm not entirely sure anymore. I remember we going through a few iterations of how the UI was looking and, and behaving, and I did a lot of things for that and uh, how you got there in the end. Um, like uh, before, it was um, it, it has a cone, um, so the closer you get, the more specific you have to be. Um, but at first, it was just a cylinder going out, and that's. That was very difficult. So by making it a cone, we made it a lot easier, um, and that's kind of the those kinds of improvements I was involved in. But the uh, original idea was already there uh, when I started. All right, this is very cool. Also, have you noticed how the person playing was just like zooming in and yeah. out, kind of like impatient, yeah. impatient. Let's go. <laughs> like I want to go out. I want to go out. <laughs> yeah. Please. Yeah, I also stop. find the f uh, the launch very funny, where it's like with the mouse. <laughs> right, just look at a very yeah. patient yeah. person trying to do the speed run. Um, for me, though, this docking sequence also felt very fast. Um, have uh, the two of you watched uh, Interstellar? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I get the <laughs> docking. Uh, yeah, but that's like next level docking in uh, Interstellar. This is what I was about to say because, like you know, you watch all of those uh, NASA uh, broadcasts where uh, the spaceships dock to the ISS, and because the ISS needs to maintain uh, its orbit, you have to be go very, very slow because if you push it a bit, you can push it out of your orbit, right? So they're like crawling, 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 crawling towards to it. But in Interstellar, they would just like zoom in, in like full spin and <laughs> everything, just kind of like docking in there. And this is what this one felt like. I actually think our th this was more realistic <laughs> still than Interstellar if you want to dock to a ship. Like I don't think it, uh, Interstellar would be physically possible for a human to get that level of accuracy in that situation. Right. But it was a good scene. That it was a fun good. scene. That, that, <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. Okay. Uh, um, have you done any of, of the, I don't know, I'm asking because maybe this is a thing. Have you done any of the speedruns of any games yourself? 
Like how big, like my first question would be how big of a gamer is are the two of you? Oh, I'm a big gamer, but no speed runs. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, same, I, I game a lot, but I don't really do speed runs. Also because the skill level in involved and, and just the, the, the sheer dexterity you have to do over a large amount of time. Right. Mm. That, that's insane to me. But if there was a one get, oh, look at that. Uh, he's just gonna put it in. Oh. Nope, oh. wrong. Oh, no! Wrong. <gasps> nope. Nope. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if they like have it written down in somewhere, or if like they just like memorize it. Maybe both? Maybe both, but then it's just like a random like code for the door. Uh, I love it. But if there was if there was this like one game that you could speed run or perfect for speed running, which one would it be? Who? <laughs> oh my god, that's uh, uh <laughs> You know what? Um, I'm gonna go for Live Rust Moon. <laughs> 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 so should we expect a uh, developer's speedrun to Live Rust and Moon stream then? I'm not sure because uh, so far they are going pretty much like a dev. <laughs> so I don't think I can beat them anymore. I really like how you say that, that they're <laughs> going like a dev. This is amazing. But Anna, for you, if you could speed run one game, which one would it be? I have no clue. The games I play are mostly story games. And it, I don't know, they're not, they have a lot of cutscenes as well. So look at, look at them just squeeze. Oh my god. I was, w I was curious about the whole cutting sequence, but they just like squeeze in very, very fast. Look at that. Skills. Yeah, you need to get that before you hit, and you become, you get too close to the locks and you have to start turning the camera. Right. And maybe thinking about some platformer game. Yeah. Platformers are good for speedruns. Yeah, exactly. But I don't know which one because I never ever play platform games. I think for me, speedrunning, I would re you know what? I think I would really want to try and speedrun Mass Effect. It's like, how do you speedrun Mass Effect? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? I mean, if you can't speedrun Deliver Us the Moon, you can technically speedrun Mass Effect as well, too. True. I mean, I think it, I think it, I think it could be like, could be, could be a cool thing to do that as well, too. In the end, you can speedrun everything, right? It just True. gets more complex <laughs> the larger you go. Right. It, it, it definitely does. Okay, the like question for you. So they've got to this bar in barely 17 minutes. Oh How God. long <laughs> did it take to develop <laughs> the game <laughs> up to this bar? Uh, much longer. Uh, <laughs> much, much, much longer. That's also kind of, when we released it, it, you've been working on it for so incredibly long. Um, I, I mean, years to get this version out, and then you know you release it, and then players <laughs> have gone through it in a, in in like six hours. <laughs> That's uh, I if you don't speed run it, so like the game mm. is like six hours, and then. Th that's, you know, that took like three years of development to right. make. <laughs> uh, but this is, I mean, some people, like, it, like when you think about it, I see a lot of people uh, on social media obviously telling me how much or how many times they've replayed the game. I know someone in particular, Nick, if you're watching this, you're amazing. Nick yeah. is uh, taking <laughs> amazing screenshots of the game. Like he's kind of like a, I want to say professional screenshot or like video yeah. game photographer. <laughs> Nick keeps uh, coming back at us on social media and saying, uh, I've played this game on PC, then I've played this game on Xbox, then I've played this game nice. on PlayStation, nice. and uh, I cannot wait to like do it like all over <laughs> again. You know, it's like amazing. So Did he just glitch the... Uh, yeah, I saw he it did as it. Well. Oh, nice! That was our first speedrun move. I love it. Can but how are you gonna it get was the so second? Fast. Can you elaborate on that? What was the glitch part? There is. A, he skipped the shelf, I think. Oh no, no, he did. Oh, that's sad. I was but like, it, how are you gonna get the other? But it was glitching out. Though. It was glitching out. Yeah, and I'm not sure what happened there. Why is it glitching? I thought he. No, he did. Did he? No, because otherwise you wouldn't have the. Yeah. Energy. But can you skip ah. a shelf? No, not to my knowledge. No. <laughs> so I was really excited if someone like found a way to do it. But then you said it was like one of the first speedrunners where it was like, uh, oh, you mean like how you would do that or how like you think you thought well, they do that? It, um, uh, if 
you are a dev and you need to test something, this is generally how you will play through the game to get to the point you right. need to test as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but as a dev, you also want to do things in the way they are intended, because otherwise, if you start to do very creative stuff um, and you get to the point and it doesn't work, well, what was the cause? Because it really didn't work or because you were very creatively making use of systems? You know, that that's hard to test anymore, so you always have to play through it in the intended order. Um, when you're fixing bugs, but speedrunners often find the bugs in the game and then use that as a feature to go even faster. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I would classify that as a very cool speed. <laughs> <laughs> so you would not classify it as a glitch, but you would classify it as like more of like a speed mode thing. Speed hack. Yeah. If you use yeah. it to, to get a to get get for the game faster for this purpose, then I. I I think the term speedrunner moves is pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I really love that. Be because also that is the that is the section of the game, like the one that they sped run, where people die the most, where people struggle yeah. the most, and like this person just did so effortlessly. Just like so but absolutely, you know, like took them what? Ten seconds? <laughs> they did it in True. the uh, in the uh, in the easy way. So there are actually you can uh, if you have the shelves, you yeah. can do it in the orientation that we would consider up and down, even though there right, isn't right, really right. an up and down in space. Um, but it's actually much easier if you tilt it 90 degrees and do it w using the left, right. Yeah, do it sideways. Um, and that just makes the shells a lot easier to, to get through. Okay. Oh, I wish I, I knew <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, I wish I yeah. knew that. But for players who <laughs> figure it out, they feel smart, like, well, because right. they have uh, found a better well, way to do it. And I, they feel, get I feel kind of stupid of for not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, Anna, you're a game developer. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm, no, I'm very okay, smart. Okay. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, it's all good. This was like, this is a super cool sequence, but uh, very Melon, was stressful. it? This one is a very stressful one. I think when I pl played Deliver Someone for the very first time, I missed one of the canisters. Oh yeah. Because it just like, kind of evaded me. I think it. I think it was this area, and then it just like, you know, died. <laughs> I suffocated. <laughs> it was very sad. At least it was a very beautiful way to go, but. Uh, yeah, we had some issues with guidance in in this part because um, the canisters are of course very small, oh but there's yeah. a lot visually going on as well. Yeah. Also, mm. this part is like massive debate. It's like, hey, 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 four canisters there yeah. just for you. Yeah, because like navigating, right? You had to like let people know which way to go and yeah. like which canister to grab. But there's so much going on visually that we needed to make those canisters stand out. Um, so that's why we eventually made them bright yellow and with linking myths <laughs> as a yeah, myths and all works. stuff. Yeah, I think, I think it works. I as think well. the one in front of us, where like the tunnel, uh, where they're going, I think this is the one I missed. This is the one that most people missed in the in the playtest too. Yeah, I missed that Oh one. yeah, I thought I could just go through, but that was not the case. <laughs> no, and it's I had to go back. <laughs> I know, and it's a perfectly timed that if you don't grab it, then it's just... You, you're kind of yeah. dead. <laughs> exactly. Exactly how it was. Um, so, with going through the wires sideways, Merlin, was it... Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, ah, yeah, that was a yeah. slowdown. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it designed to be this way? To be easily done sideways? No, that was actually something that just... Uh, um, yeah, emerged from uh, from the design, and um, uh, we had a discussion about should we fix it or not because it's easier. But then, you know, for the players who figure that out, they actually get an advantage, and it's they feel smart. Right. Um, so let's keep it in because that's cool. Um, and for the players that don't, they get the challenge as intended. <laughs> Yes. Actually, the fun fact about the breach is that the canisters will adapt to how fast you are going through it, so that everybody will um, feel the same amount of pressure, regard because there are a lot of different people who play the Deliver Us the Moon, and all of them have different skill levels, so it was really difficult to get one set of times for everybody, um, because for some it wasn't a challenge, for some it was impossible to make. So it actually adapts to how fast you're going through it. I never knew that. That's really cool. Yeah, because <laughs> most players will do it at their fastest limit, so they will yeah. never <laughs> notice that it, it actually, if they go slower, it will, they will <laughs> make it. 
I, I never, how, okay, okay. <laughs> Can I point out that I've been with the company for quite some time. I also played the games and done like developer talks and every <laughs> single time I sit down and talk to you about Deliver Us The Moon that's been out there for a while, I learn something new about the game and how it's like <laughs> working and how it's done. How is it possible? I, this kind of prompts the question of like, what else are you not telling us? Mm, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but the formula for the breach is like the was one of the most fun things to do because it has the desired effect and nobody ever finds out. I, I, just, I just love it. <laughs> well, yeah, and like you don't know and it feels like, like it's a, pr this is, was it difficult to do technically though? Um, it was uh, a thing to figure out, and then yeah, Remco the made the system, so <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we should ask Remco next time how difficult it was to make. Yeah, we really should. Oh, he has, uh, they have nice uh, skin for eggs. Mess, but you better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. <laughs> so the, the impatient <laughs> jump in her I love it. It's going to like be done with it, not interested. But honestly, <laughs> we had this too as devs because so this scene takes a really long time and you have to play through it every time you want to test something in the next area because oh. you have to take Ace with you. Ah, so like it, it doesn't work if you like not play it. There's no way. Yeah, yeah because you can't get Ace out of this dock unless you pick him out of the, <laughs> pick him up out of it. So you have to watch this scene. This is like one of the major frustrations <laughs> for the team actually when testing. Uh, yeah, it's really long. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. Almost, almost. <laughs> Let's go. Almost there. I'm just like, I'm getting impatient too now. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I never had an issue with it before when I played, but I guess when, like, when you were like, watching it, a speed run, it's almost like, come on, come True. on, come, yeah, on, yeah, come yeah. on, get it out there, get it out there. You want them to su succeed. Yeah. Like, go, come on, go faster. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, um, I really would want to like have a challenge of like who can complete the rest of the is like exactly one hour, like six minutes. How how long was this one? Uh, one hour and like with loading times, an hour and twenty minutes. Without loading times, an hour and eighteen minutes. Like oh, but that's quite a lot of time you'd have to shave off to get it in. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, minutes yeah. is a yeah. long time. Yeah, I think it's like not quite possible, right? This is like, this is the ultimate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Getting everything while, the, while she's still speaking. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna go with this one? I'm quite curious because this took me forever to figure yes. out. Same, this took me some time. Because this person could work in our team, I mean. <laughs> Should we contact them? <laughs> Should we be like, hey. <laughs> next time we need a tester. <laughs> yeah, next time we need a tester, let's do that. Because for me, that particular puzzle was confusing because it was also like 3D placement, like how you rotate it. Yeah. It's not like, like, you know, left or right, up or down. It's also like super duper duper. Uh, <laughs> waiting at every door, like a doggo who really needs <laughs> to like walk out, like, let me out. So there are certain, are there any uh, dialogues and uh, things that you can skip, right? You don't have to listen to them, but there are some that you have to, right, to progress. Yeah, most of it is you have to listen to. Okay. Um, if, it's, uh, um, if it's not a hologram or an audio log, then right. most of the time it's a system voice and or, or it will either be playing in the background, but sometimes you have to wait for it. Right. Because it's a linear game. So. <laughs> this day, oh Ooh. my god, that was really fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was the fastest. I love how, the, like, we we played this so many times because, you know, repetition, I've got, I think I've got 400 hours in Dead Boss Moon. So Ooh. by now I know how to rotate those pieces um, with two moves to get them into the right spot. At Good. least then I did, now I don't. But that somebody actually <laughs> took the time to learn <laughs> how you get the rotation of those things as fast as possible that's just amazing this is such a cool moment as well also uh this ace unit is customized right it doesn't really yeah. look like the yeah. original one uh that feature wasn't there from the beginning was it no it wasn't no it's something we added after uh, a release 
Yes, to be full woman as well too. Uh, so questions, Malin. Could you uh, do the ace? Oh, 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 we missed oh. it. So sad. Was it like one full second? Oh, this is really fast though. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> making me nauseous. I want to go and go <laughs> like, woohoo, like I want to. It <laughs> feels like a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, we can do like, yeah, like this. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, that is amazing. That was really fast. <laughs> it's really cool. Too bad he missed the first. Um, Too step. bad he couldn't get through. Yeah. <laughs> There's always like, again, it's a set. There's always oh room no, for perfection. No, oh, yeah, well, no, hold on. Never mind. No, <laughs> Never mind. that's all right. All yeah. Good. Oh, we, we always oh. have to play the whole grab too. <laughs> he's, he's skipping it. Oh, you missed it as well. You can interact with that with the Ashna, I think. Yeah, you can. So you don't, so you don't have, have to go. You, you don't, don't have, have to go into base. Ah, okay. So there's a tip, right? You don't have to like for this one. You don't need ace. You can just like yeah. Go with but it could be faster. Okay. So this is a system that m uh, oh. thing. Mm -hmm. um, if you interact with it with the astronaut, then uh, ace will start flying to the button. Right. However, you won't be able to reach it all of the time. So that's when uh, you will, after a couple seconds. <laughs> of not reaching it, he will mm -hmm. teleport to the button. Um, so those seconds, mm. if you want to skip that, then you will have to use ace. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 no. 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 <laughs> oh my god, oh, I feel it. Oh, this is taking so much time. Oh, oh my god, no. Oh, you can see it ticking away. I know, I know. Oh my god. Oh. OK, yeah, that's oh, he good. got it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this oh, that was such a pity. Oh, man. It's okay. I think we still... <laughs> I was about to say how like you go with like with the evil... With the evil ace there. Yeah, you could. That could be one second... Uh, one minute faster. We actually designed it that you can't run through it in one go. Ooh. <laughs> so you have to like time it right. Yeah. You have to wait. You have to stop at least once after... Uh, besides I think it took like 30 seconds. Oh just like this one. Like longer time and the death and everything. Yeah. Oh. So sad. But I'm I'm really wondering how much time it took this person to oh. learn all of this. <laughs> mm. This is a good thing, and this is something that also. <laughs> <laughs> the let me in. Let me in. <laughs> I really like it because I remember uh, that when we were planning this, because I wanted to do this for a while now. I'm like, that would be so cool to actually. First of all, I didn't even know the delivery system and speed runs existed, and when I found out they do, it was so crucial for me. I'm like, okay, we have to watch it, like together, like as a company. Yeah. And uh, uh, then I think Herman was asking if uh, we can have the person who played it like uh, on a recording with us, like on stream on a video with us. Oh, and that's I funny. Yeah, and I said that that would be ideal, but um, yeah, I don't think there is any way. Well, I'm going to try and actually, you know, send the email. And then oh, that would really be cool. really cool. And then <laughs> ask, and then send the video and then say, hey, we watched your speed run and we have questions of like how long, <laughs> how many runs did it take? to perfect it so well. I also wonder how you speed run um, the actual moonwalking, like walking on the moon, because it also like has Oh my god, that was some, cla that was, it actually, it's so hard <laughs> to get that in one go, the rover onto the pressure plates. Right. <laughs> that oh. was, that was skills. It didn't look like skills, but that was skills. No, that was skills because I remember like you always miss it one. Yeah, yes. yeah, and then you have to go back and back repark and it. Uh, yeah. Back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> How good are you at parking uh, the rover, uh, Anna, in Moon? Not that good. <laughs> <laughs> like Merlin said, like you're always missing one, and you're like, okay, I gotta go forward. Yeah, that then one. Backwards. <laughs> No, he missed it. <laughs> yeah, he missed it a little bit. He wanted to jump on it, but he missed it a bit. And you're like, fuck it, I'll just reverse all the way. And then you just like slightly, really slowly. <laughs> then done. Done. <laughs> then you're have good. You, um, have you tried jumping off uh, the towers when you played? Oh, I should have. <laughs> because I have none. You have not? No. Uh, you should totally try doing that because that's a lot of fun. But this is also how I play video games. Because I get that, and I'm like, what happens if? If is there fall damage? Hmm. Uh, do I spoil it to you? 
You can. <laughs> <laughs> There's something special. I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, Melinda, you're telling me you haven't jumped off the tower? I've jumped off plenty. The test of you would actually die and not get stuck or create blockers that way. <laughs> but uh, for me, it was like always like okay, what, because you know how um, there is less gravity on the moon, right? So you're like Ooh. your astronaut is uh, kind of like yeah. doing the jumps and everything. So I'm like, okay, I'm on top of the tower. But what happens if I jump off of it? Well, would gravity do its job? Would I like land like slower and everything? But uh, you die. Yeah. 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 You just oh. <laughs> yeah. You just you just <laughs> go down and then you just like. <laughs> then. Oh. And then it's just like smashed because I mean there is still gravity on the moon, right? There is yeah, still true. some. So you have yeah. your weight. So you can still hurt yourself for some stupid reason. I thought I'm invincible. <laughs> just, just because we're not, so I thought I would just like land there and then we just like run around and get back in. <laughs> Had to test it. The oh. fall height is higher for dying and, and than it is in normal gravity. Mm. In in the game I mean. Yeah, that's true, which is cool, but oh, I still oh, don't this get is it. Difficult oh. angle. Ooh, this is mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Not that bad. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Great. <laughs> okay, so um, we um, don't really have like time to like finish the entire thing, but I mm. am sure we will continue because I really do want to like watch it till the very end. Uh, and mm. we will definitely watch this uh, speed run all the way through because I'm quite curious. So we will definitely need to have like a part two <laughs> happening <laughs> with this one because it's really cool. Um, but before we actually like end this, um, I want to talk to you about some something really. Oh, that was so stressful. Ooh. That was like, very, very <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> um, something about really cool because um, on the day of us recording that, we have uh, released the um, reveal, the release date of Deliverous Mars, actually. We've, uh, we've revealed it um, on Wednesday. So uh, yes. how does it feel? I'm excited. <laughs> it's getting so real now, you know? I, right? With the date and everything. Yes. Can't wait. It's Very excited. so good. Yeah. Melin, how does it feel for you? It was surreal because we kind of found out that the release date of our own game at the same <laughs> time everybody else did. So I was like, oh my god, okay, so we're actually going to work towards the 27th of September now. <laughs> nice, okay, <laughs> we've got a date, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Do you think uh, there will be speedruns of Deliver Us Mars? Would you want to see one? Absolutely, I'm yes. loving this. Yeah, I'm invested now. I know, right? We will Anymore. definitely we will definitely have to do part two, and we will definitely need to finish that one. Uh, there will probably be someone. Uh, actually, there might oh be no. me too. To I mean, why not? It's gonna be like really cool. We're definitely gonna like do that. Uh, we will definitely do like the second uh, video, and we will do the part two of this because we need to see it through. Because uh, some of the amazing stuff is coming later on, like late in game. Mm. I am especially curious about the reactor. I think. Oh yes, and I'm I'm really curious how he's gonna how they're gonna do the security ace part in Pumbo. I think that might actually oh be the hardest to speed run because if you try to do that too fast, right. then you'll get shut down and you have to try it over you have to all be again. Patient, yeah. yeah, so that that might actually be the hardest part to get through. This is amazing. This is almost like a cliffhanger that I'm quite <laughs> looking forward to doing. Or he found some kind of shortcut. <gasps> I would really love to see. Maybe you can yeah. jump through them. If you can jump through, that would have been. Yeah, maybe you can jump funny. actually. <laughs> oh, that'd be, I'd, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm trying to like find like a good moment where oh, we can running, right? where <laughs> where we can where we can stuff it. But like this person, they're just going really fast. They're mm. just like going fast and just like all in like in motion, no hesitation, no anything. Well, you can do that the level switch, right? He's almost uh, okay. they're almost at the end of moon up. So. Yeah, let's let's do it then. Um, so yeah, deliver us Mars is like very soon, and it's going to be very real. And uh, it's going to be really amazing as well too, and uh, and I'm quite excited to be able to show the world what you've been working on, because we cannot talk about it yet, nor we can oh. show it, <laughs> but we have seen it, and trust me, this is great, and it's absolutely amazing, and it's also going to be staying there for posterity, 
for everybody to see like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. How does Whoa. it feel? Did you say it like that? Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, really? Yeah, really cool. Because, yeah, because like Moon is there and look at us, you know, several years from the original release, we're sitting there watching this hero and having fun. Oh, that would be really funny. Already looking forward to it. <laughs> we're 40 minutes through and we definitely need to continue that. With that for this attack. Remain on clear. Continue I can't wait. Right. I want to watch this to the end. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to have to pause it right now. Uh, no. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> this is like pausing a movie halfway through and yes. saying you have to watch it again <laughs> next <laughs> week. I am so sorry. You don't have the same feeling it's then. I feel like <laughs> the person who is taking the toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so honestly, it, honestly, it pains me as much. It pains me as much to just quick pause well, that. You can just unpause. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to do it again. Uh, I definitely going to have the two of you come back, and then we're going to finish it because I think we're like exactly halfway, and then we're going to have like mm. like have like the second one. It's going yes. to be great. Thank you so very much for being here with me, watching the Resident Speed Run. And thank you for Thanks having for hosting. Uh, nah, it's us. amazing. It's really great to have you, Anna, here oh. with us. How was thank it? You. How's your impression? It's your first time, uh, right? It yeah. was my first time. I was a bit nervous, but uh, I was enjoying it. It's how it is. You get addicted to it. Before you know it, you're going to be knocking at my door <laughs> saying, when's the next when is the one? next one? <laughs> I need more. I need my stream fix. My, my, <laughs> new, my new addiction. <laughs> ah, great. Thank you so very much. Watching speedruns. Yeah, watching, wa watching speedruns of the games we make. Yes. It's important. Yes. The ones that we make. So... If you haven't done a speedrun of Deliver Us the Moon, and you always thought about speedrunning it, now using some of the hints from the best of the best Gilkin game developers, you can try and invest the time of one hour, 18 minutes. Um, yeah, go ahead. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here with us. Uh, play Deliver Us the Moon. Uh, wish list and pre-order Deliver Us Mars on uh, Steam, Epic Games Store, Xbox and PlayStation, uh, and we cannot wait till you guys can play the game. Is there anything you want to say before we go? Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> and once Lepros Mars is out, I really want to see a speed run to, to whoever made this one. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> you've got some work to do. <laughs> We've got some emails to send. It's yes. Like <laughs> we're really interested <laughs> in the Deliver Us Mars speed run. Thank you very much for being here. Like, subscribe, click the bell. <laughs> All of that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs>